Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So inside today's video, I'll actually be showing guys how to make a low poly building inside of Blender. And yeah, let's get right into the video. A few things I'd like to mention before we get right into the video is my Discord server and my Twitter. My Twitter is at RollJam and my Discord server will be in the description. I'd also like to say like and subscribe because 70% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel and I feel like guys subscribe really helped me out. And yeah, now let's get right into the video. So first thing when you're in Blender, turn on cavity by just clicking on this arrow and click cavity. After that, uh, insert a screen, make it bold. After you turn on cavity, what you're gonna do is now go into edit mode, press five on your uh, numpad and then one. And they're gonna scale on your X axis and scale on your Z axis. So now what you're gonna do is actually scale the model on your Y axis, just like that. And whatever works for you, what I'm just gonna do is just scale a bit more, just like that. And yeah, I think that looks good for me. So after that, what you're gonna do now is just duplicate it, scale on your uh, your Y axis, just like that. And they're gonna bring this part out, just like this. Scale it on your Z axis, just mush it basically. And rotate it just a little bit, just like that. And bring it in. Should look something like this and duplicate it, rotate it just like this, and then bring it over here. So after you do that, what you're gonna do now is select the top uh, faces, duplicate it, and these things over here, just click on this, and click individual origins. Scale this out, and extrude it up, just like that. After you do that, just add a loop cut right here on the roof, and bring this up. So it should look something like this, and we're gonna go on the uh, next part. So after you do all that, what I actually recommend is now making breaks for your building. So all you just gotta do is add in a cube, scale on your Z axis, and just rotate just like that. And just to add a little pattern, just bring it uh, all around just like this. So maybe some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. Uh, scale on your uh, X axis, and duplicate it around. Boom, you should add something like this now. So what you're gonna do is actually separate the building from the bricks by just selecting uh, the faces of the building, pressing Control L, and then P. Uh, after that, click selection, and it should separate the uh, bricks from the building. Also do the same thing to the roof too. Uh, Control L, P, selection. And the bricks have their own. Now you can move the bricks around without also moving the uh, building too. And yeah, let's get on to the next part. So after you do that, what you're actually gonna make is a sign. Just start off by adding a cylinder, uh, opening this arrow right here. Uh, make the vertices round 10 or eight, whichever works for you. Scale this down, just like this. Rotate it, actually don't rotate it. Just bring this up, just like this. Up. Select the top face, bring it up. And make sure to duplicate it and do it on the other side too. And what you're gonna do is add a cube, bring it up, scale on your x axis, and scale on your z axis too. So, after that, what I recommend is just selecting this face over here and just drag it out just like this. This should just add like a cool little detail to your uh, shop sign or your billing sign. And just scale it in on your y, y axis. Just like this and if you like you can also look, uh, look on google to see like some examples of uh, building signs but this is what came to my mind so far and yeah let's go on to the next part and finally what you're gonna do now is make the buildings windows all you're just gonna do is start up by adding a cube bringing it up and then go inside edit mode uh, just like this select the face over here the front face uh, extrude it inside just like that, and extrude it in again. Select this face over here, duplicate it, scale it inside, just like that. And extrude this just like that, and bring this in. After that, you're gonna control, you're gonna control L to, uh, control L to select everything, and rotate it on your Y axis, just like this, and duplicate. After that, extrude it in, just like this. And this will be like uh, the window itself. So. What you're gonna do is Control L, P, and selection, just to separate it from the actual window frame. And we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, put the window all around the building and show you guys what it looks like. Boom! So something like this. 
Uh, if you'd like to make a custom building, what I should recommend doing is go on Google and searching up uh, maybe some real life building or just searching up cartoony building on Google and just use it as a reference images. Reference if you uh, make detailed buildings and that's what I use sometimes to help me make some of my uh, simulator buildings. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll upload soon. Bye.